All over the world, 1953 was a time when momentous events were taking place. In Britain, a new sovereign was crowned. In the Himalayas, the highest mountain in the world was climbed. In America, an event perhaps less important, but not less earth-shaking, a new kind of music was being heard. History was being made, too, in Canada in 1953, in the bleak and inhospitable Northwest Territories, where a pilot called Max Ward started Ward Air Canada Limited in Yellowknife. The company's office and shop doesn't give much hint of things to come, and they certainly don't look like the headquarters of Canada's holiday airline but they do give an indication of the rugged and fascinating history of Ward Air. Max Ward's first venture into independent commercial aviation was in 1947, when he founded the Polaris Charter Company and bought a de Havilland Fox Moth to fly prospectors and equipment into remote northern areas of Canada for staking planes, diamond drilling, and geographical and topographical surveys. More planes, more expansion. Until in 1953, along with all those other epoch-making events, Ward Air was launched. In the years since, so much has changed. Our 1953 rock and roller wouldn't recognize his contemporary counterpart. The Queen still travels in a state coach, but she finds other modes of transport as well. Man has found not other mountains to conquer, but other worlds. The same indeed may be said of Ward Air. What began all those years ago as a small, independent and imaginative service for a few pioneers has now become a major international airline serving hundreds of thousands of people. What began with Max Ward's tiny plane is now an airline with a fleet of Boeing 747s and McDonnell Douglas DC-10s. What began in a remote Canadian province is now an airline that stretches from the great cities of Canada to Britain and Europe to Hawaii, California, Mexico and the Caribbean. What began with one man now involves thousands of employees. All these changes, but some things remain the same. Ward Air remains independent and imaginative, and it remains committed to reliable service, known for its high standards and good value. Any Ward Air flight demonstrates what sort of airline Ward Air is. Any Ward Air passenger provides the best testimony of our success. Come aboard a Ward Air jet, and you'll see just what we mean. Probably the first thing a passenger notices upon boarding is the number of attendants on the flight. A Ward Air jet has more attendants than most other airlines, and they're there to serve our passengers, not to sell them duty-free goods. Their only job is to help to make sure the holiday begins from the moment the flight does, and they're there to see that every need is attended to all through the journey. Just because Ward Air offers low fares doesn't mean we sacrifice high standards. Our fleet comprises only wide-bodied jets, roomy, modern aircraft, designed and equipped to provide comfortable long-distance travel. From the moment the engines start to rev up, it's clear that Ward Air really does know how to get off to a flying start. Soon after takeoff, Ward Air's famous in-flight service really gets underway. We've achieved a standard that is virtually unmatched by other airlines. Perhaps the reason is our policy of trying to make every Ward Air flight the best and most enjoyable travel bargain money can buy. On a Ward Air flight, everything is included in the price of the ticket. That means there's no extra charge for any in-flight service. Soon after takeoff, passengers are offered a choice of drinks, from orange juice to fine cognac. And all through the flight, whenever a passenger wants a cocktail, a cup of coffee, even a glass of water, an attendant will serve it with pleasure. There's pleasure too in Ward Air's stereo headsets with seven channels of music for each passenger's personal enjoyment. Again, at no extra cost. But let's not settle back just yet. Let's explore a little. On all our flights, we encourage passengers to stretch their legs, to get up, stroll around, make new friends, and chat with old ones. And on our 747s, there's an upstairs lounge where the atmosphere is friendly and relaxed. On so many transatlantic flights, only first-class passengers can gain entry to the lounge. But on our flights, there's only one class, Ward Air class. All our passengers are treated with equal care and attention. When it's time to eat, passengers see what Ward Air service is all about. For, as with so many other details, Ward Air takes a little more care with its meals, using the finest available ingredients and serving them properly. 
not on plastic, but on fine china with proper cutlery. There's nothing plastic about the food either. Whatever you've heard about airline meals simply doesn't apply to water. A typical meal includes a juicy fillet steak, selected vegetables, mixed salad and a dessert. There's a choice of either red or white wine and afterwards tea or coffee and a selection of liqueurs. From the moment of takeoff to the moment of landing, there's nothing like a Ward Air flight. But Ward Air service needn't stop with arrival in Canada. Ward Air offers an extensive range of hotels, tours, car hire and camper holidays, all of them excellent value for money. There's so much of Canada to be seen and we can make it that much easier. Ward Air flies to six great Canadian cities, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Winnipeg and Toronto. Each one a very different sort of place and all of them ready to welcome the visitor with a friendliness that is typically Canadian. Toronto for instance, once a Huron Indian village, today a bustling metropolis of more than two and a half million people that serves as an international centre for culture and commerce. The city's skyline is dominated by imposing skyscrapers and the graceful Canadian National Tower, the world's tallest freestanding structure which reaches a height of more than 1,800 feet. On a clear day, you can see for 75...
trust that is most interesting in Winnipeg, Canada's fifth largest city and the capital of the province of Manitoba. Rich in cultural attractions, including the world-famous Royal Winnipeg Ballet, Winnipeg serves as a base for the beautiful Canadian countryside which surrounds it and offers a paradise to sportsmen and endless delight to everyone. There's delight too in Ottawa, the seat of the government of Canada. Tree-lined avenues, flower deck shopping areas, a canal winding peacefully through the heart of the city. The National Arts Centre, showcased for performing artists from around the world. All this and more contribute to Ottawa's special charm. Canada is the heart of Wardair's world, but our passengers needn't stop there. From Canada we fly to Florida, the Caribbean, and Mexico. Further afield still, there are the fabulous and fabled islands of Hawaii, a tropical paradise like no other place on Earth. Ward Air is one of the largest tour operators in Hawaii, so we're the obvious choice for a holiday in the Pacific. Ward Air offers so much. Canada is only the beginning. But the only way to really find out about it is, of course, to go there. And the best way is to take Canada's holiday airline. No one knows Canada the way we do, and no one can make the trip so easy. With departures from Gatwick, Manchester and Prestwick, and an extensive schedule of flights, Ward Air is the obvious choice for the Canada-bound traveller. With our fleet of all wide-bodied aircraft, we fly from Britain to Canada up to 25 times a week, all summer long. With the experience that began all those years ago in Canada's Northwest Territories and has grown and deepened through the decades, with the kind of service that has made our name a byword for attentiveness and cordiality, with all this, could there be a better way to start a Canadian holiday than with water.